family stood strong as crowds formed patiently looking on while his body was carried inside. He never had a bad day. He was always happy to come to the Explore program every single day, so I never seen him sad since I met him. Junior is one who said no to the emptiness of street life and said yes to a future of, of hope and of progress. The mask King. echoes the importance of being there for Junior's family, continuing to push for justice after his murder and looking out for one another in the days ahead. Today, again and again, we have gone through so many tragedies in this country and in the Bronx. I invite you to renew your commitment. It's a commitment as human beings and as Christians, to protect the life of our people. To be on the watch Cemetery. all the time. Violence is a substitute for purpose. Choose love. That's the message here. And as church members and churchgoers recall the life that Junior led, the positivity and the purpose he embraced, they're actually inviting the neighbors back this weekend to try to think of solutions to create safer streets so this tragedy doesn't repeat itself. In Belmont, Tory Singer, News 12, The Bronx, back to you. All right, Tori, thank you so much. Now, Junior's story has touched not only the entire borough, but the entire nation. An innocent teenage victim who dreamed of being a police officer, instead targeted by an act of senseless violence in what sources say police are now investigating as a case of mistaken identity. Mourners coming out in droves to the area near the Belmont bodega where Junior's life was cut short last week, laying candles, flowers, and well wishes. That support continuing today. Our team covered continuing now with News 12 The Bronx reporter Carmen Grant, who was outside St. Raymond Cemetery in Throgs Neck with more. Carmen. That, that's why the man, the family and friends say their final goodbyes to Lazando Guzman for Lee's, his final resting place here at St. Raymond Cemetery. Now, this is video that we shot earlier. Crowds coming out to see his casket leave the Ortez funeral home. Felice's father, as well as other members of the family wearing baseball jerseys in honor of the 15 year old who loved the New York Yankees. His mother being hugged by onlookers as she buries her youngest son, her baby. This tragedy has touched the hearts of many Bronxites. We spoke with Jefferson Palimo, who said he didn't know the family but felt that he had to be part of today's procession, reaching out to Felice's mom to show his support. I felt her pain so much that. I had a, I had something to tell her, and when I told her, made her feel it, and she looked back at me and she told me, "Your family." That's all she told me. Your family to me. Now that's how many Bronxites say they feel. They say they feel like they're family to this tragedy, and they say that Junior will live in their hearts forever. Carmen Grant, News 12, The Bronx. Carmen, Amanda. thank you. And so far, we know eight men are facing charges in the brutal stabbing death of Lesandro Guzman Feliz. Those suspects, many seen in this disturbing surveillance video, allegedly attacking the boy with machetes, are all believed to have ties to the Trinitarios gang. Now, the NYPD says they have been watching and fighting the violent Dominican gang for years, and now they're cracking down. The most recent arrest coming yesterday, 23-year-old Elvin Garcia, now charged with murder, manslaughter, and criminal possession of a weapon. He stayed silent as our crews asked if he had anything to say to Junior's family. 19-year-old Kelvin Alvarez was arraigned in Bronx Criminal Court Monday night. He was met with loud jeers from a crowd of angry community members when he was walked out of the 48th precinct. Six other suspects were apprehended in New Jersey. They will be arraigned in Bronx Criminal Court later today on murder, manslaughter, and gang assault charges. And News 12 The Bronx has covered this tragedy extensively. We will continue to bring you complete coverage as the investigation into this case continues. Now, to view that coverage, you can log on to our website, news12.com. Just click on the Justice for Junior banner.